upon arrival, uh, we noticed that uh, th there was about four persons reported trapped in a 100 foot, 150 feet tower that's being built. Um, when my guys got up there, they noticed that two of them were not injured. We had one injury and one fatality. This is still up there. Um, he'll be down shortly, but we've had one that been transported to a nearby hospital and two of them are not injured. So it was a total of four. It was not a difficult rescue. Uh, there was just one guy they didn't have a, a, vis a visual on earlier on, um, but then they were able to see him and that's pretty much when they noticed that he, he was a total, you know, it was a fatality. Well, what you see here is a construction site. They're, er they're erecting and constructing a 500,000 gallon elevated storage tank. The panel was going up and as it was up at top, it was just dangling, which is, I've seen it. I, they put all those bottom pieces in in one day. So I know they know what they're doing. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just falls and collapses inside to the tank. Uh, on behalf of the Porter Special Utility District, we certainly would like to give our condolences to those who have been hurt and killed in this incident, as well as let the community here know that we're just completely devastated that this would happen with a with the contractor here, and we'll do everything we can to provide you know some support to their family.